Okay, players nearly ready. Warm day here. It's really, really lively, this court. This is show court three here at the Australian Open. Day five into the third round. We're getting to the business end of the tournament and it is Madison Keys from the US to open proceedings. Love 50. Well, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised what we're going to see from Madison Keys today. Pretty much, you know, big serve, big off the ground. She's going to be looking to take as many forehands as possible during their, this match. That's her weapon. Oh. And also one of the strongest, not only first serves, but kick serve as well. And we just saw an example of that, how much off the bounce, she gets such good rotation, it can kip, kick up on her opponents. When Madison Keys is in full flight, there's really not many players who can go with her power hitting both sides, forehand, backhand, extremely powerful. Likes to sort of sit on that baseline and control and dictate play. Just that shot there, Jill, that's where on these warmer Ball days, that's what happens. The ball just tends to just fly as opposed to off the racket. It's just so lively, so much heat in the ball. The ball is going to be a little bit quicker through the courts, Jeez. especially on these hot days as well. The ball can bounce a little bit higher. Normally on the colder days when the ball is heavier, it just doesn't bounce as high, not as lively off the bounce either. Used this serve to perfection Advantage. in last week's Please. win in Adelaide. Madison Keys, just a brilliant server. In fact, your one match I commentated, she, she hit seven aces out of ten points in a row. So she with, was, with that out wide serve? Oh, just they were going everywhere. One, one game she served four in a row. She can hit her spot so well, and I, and I like that she's aware that as much power that she can overwhelm players on the serve, she likes to incorporate the off pace oh. serve as well. I think she's smart about when to choose a kick serve went to go a little bit harder and flatter. Oh! Juice. Well, just a bit of a feeling out period here for both players. Because all summer it's been quite mild. We haven't had these warmer temperatures. It's been, whether the lead up was in Sydney or in Adelaide, it was pretty cool conditions. Oh. Well, Wong Chong, uh, a talented ball striker in her own right. The double-handed backhand is her bread and butter. That's where she's a lethal ball striker on that side. Oh.
Yeah, when Keys has time to set up for that ball, Jeez. she gets so much pace on both wings, as you mentioned. It's just Wong Chung trying to get Madison on the move, maybe try and get her a little bit late, but that time Keys had so much time, and that's when she's at her most dangerous. Advantage. Wong. I mentioned these players have played each other three times before, and that was back in 2018. So it's been a few years since they've played each other. So it just seems like they're getting a feel for how to go about the strategy today. Good footwork there from Keys. Just a couple of those adjustment steps. Jeez. That lob just off the bounce, moving away from her, moving forward a little bit. So Keys did a good job of getting in good position, getting good balance. Advantage, Keys. Let's first up. Mm -hmm. You can just see Jeez. yourself telling her to move forward to that. That one just holding up on her slightly. She got the ball that she wanted that short reply in the middle of the court to take that forehand. I saw Advantage. Madison Keys play Keys. Ash Barty at the French Open. This was when Ash was just making her comeback for the second time. I, well, second part of her tennis career, early days, where she just sort of cracked back into the top 100 after taking a sabbatical. I remember on that little intimate court there at French Open in Paris, I think it's maybe show court two or three. Like two or three, I yeah. love those courts, but those don't, aren't there anymore, I don't think, right? Anyway. Yeah, she, <laughs> okay. I've got to say, Madison Keys was one of the best performances I've ever seen. Yeah. She came out, her ball striking, and just hit Ash Barty off the court. Both sides, it was phenomenal. Jeez. She can play like that. I mean, when she's on, I mean, she's, you almost feel like you can't get your racket on the ball. Well, what a, what a long start to this match. You can see Keys just a little frustrated here. Cause hasn't got the rhythm on the serve. Well, good start here for Wong. Game one. Gets the opening break. First game. And what was an incredibly long start. Nine minute first game. And it's just interesting watching a couple shots go through the court on this court three. I've done a couple matches on this court already, and the fact that it is hotter, you can see the ball skidding through off the bounce a little bit faster. And a couple times you can see Keys just getting late on that forehand when Wong has been able to really flatten that ball out. Wong. 
Wong Chiong to serve. I feel like that's one shot Madison Keys has improved tremendously is that backhand and in particular down the line. She used that shot extremely well, especially in the finals last week in Adelaide against her compatriot Allison Risk. That was the shot that really caused Risk some problems in that final. Oh, there. you couldn't have Not timed this any better. <laughs> I saw that one pretty early. Doesn't get any better, ladies and gentlemen. That is just perfect. That's dangerous if she's starting to hit the backhand well because she, she, we know how dangerous her forehand is. So footwork's the key, isn't it, in these yeah. tricky, tricky conditions when it's lively, the ball sort of all over the place, and you have to be in position, you really need those small adjustment steps around the ball. Oh. And I think the footwork and staying low as well, such a key component, it just keeps your balance a little bit better to be able to handle the pace coming into your racket. Well, that's an impressive return game, game right there from Keys to hit back straight away. One game on. Looks motivated, Madison Keys. Really, if you take last year out of the consideration, she spent five, six years in the top 10 to 12 best players in the world, and to drop down outside the top 50 would have hurt the ego a little bit, I'm sure. Great to see her start the year so well in Adelaide. Oh. Jill, the match I loved was the, the Coco Goff match. Yeah. Oh, wow, it was a great match. They played in the quarterfinals, and Madison, Madison Keys against pretty much anyone she plays, she's the aggressor, she's the attacker. Right. But in that match, Coco Goff was up on the baseline going for it, and and Keys was having to de defend. It was a thriller, and Madison just getting the win in three sets. It was one of the best matches I've seen in a long time, and what? both of them playing really well. Yeah. I think that's one of the things Madison said she feels like she's improved a lot on is that defense. I mean, we know she's had the offense in her game for a long time. So that's something that she feels like she knew she had to get better at. And last week in particular, I agree with you. I think that was the thing that stood out to me is how well she defended. Well, a good couple of games in a row right there from Madison Keys. Keys hits straight back after losing her opening serve and leads 2-1 first set.
Well, you'll see Wong has changed her serve. That's the one big change under the tutelage of Pat Cash. Got a faster motion where she starts with her feet a bit closer and always trying to work on that serve. I think she's got an accurate serve, but I think Cashy has really tried to build up a bit more pace and speed. In it. Now, I think this matchup's Sorry. an intriguing one because both of them like to hit the ball pretty big hard, uh, mm -hmm. and flat, but I just think Keys is a bit better at that than what. Wong is so I'll be fascinated to see what other tactics Wong will implement today to try and find ways around Madison Keys. We were just talking about the tactics of Wong's game today, and I think one of the biggest things for me could be she does hit the ball with some pace and some length, and I think one of the shots that's underrated, in my opinion, is that deep down the center ball. It just takes the angle away from the opponents, and I, a lot of times you get a short ball off that reply, but it has to be deep and it has to be <laughs> quick. I think it's a great play. And I think, think yeah. I think, sorry to interrupt you, but no, I think no. in the women's game, people underestimate just how well both sides, forehand, backhand, the, the girls, when they're in position, just how hard they're hitting it. They don't have quite as much spin and shape, but their penetration is off the chart. So it's very hard to defend, isn't it, when that ball yeah. comes quick with any angle through the middle of the court. Oh. Nice. And I think a lot of women, in, in my opinion, 15, they, the quickness and the movement on the court is getting stronger and stronger every year. And I think a lot of them move so well side to side that it's almost become a part of the game where a lot of women prefer almost to be on the stretch. And I think if you can get that middle ball deep down the center, it can jam some Let's of the opponents and cu create short balls so you can get on the offense. You know, when you have a great start to the year or you, you win a tournament, you just want to keep that momentum going for as long as you can and almost be an autopilot. I'm sure that's how Madison Keys is feeling at the moment. Oh. Good patience on that ball from Wong. Looked like she wanted to try and take it a little earlier, but just waited on it, got in the right position with those feet. He's trying to get depth on that, but just couldn't quite get the depth that she needed. Just gets the tape and Wong with a tidy hold of serve. We're at two games all first set. That was a great get, that slice. And I know that seemed like an easy shot, but those can be tricky because a lot of times you see that you just have the open court. So you just try and guide it in cross court and you just let up a little bit and Keys just came off that forehand slightly.
Love 50. Yeah, I think she should continue 15, to use that serve. It's so effective, that out wide serve. I mean, Wong's standing a couple feet behind the baseline to sort of throw in that slice out wide. Wong's just so far back, it's tough to get an advantage on that return. Let's first serve. Yeah, great double hand of both of these players. Two of the best in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Not just down the line or cross court, but they, they can mix it up with shape, change direction when they're being attacked. Oh. And that's a clever serve. The ball not hit super hard, just 125k an hour serve. But what that does is, is it bounces up high and then above the shoulder. Wong just struggling to control. Falling off that forehand of Fraction, Madison going backwards. Jeez. I think it's more, I think it's about the acceleration too. I mean, she is falling back backwards, but letting up when she's in that position. I mean, she's so good at usually accelerating so well through that forehand. And we've seen it occasionally, but she just didn't, hasn't felt super comfortable on every forehand to hit through it. That one just a little bit flat. Yeah, not a lot of margin, well, is there? Right. The, the, the timing, the racket. Contact with the racket has to be spot on every time and not hit with a huge amount of spin, so the margin certainly on the low end. Oh. Oh, that's wide, Game so one. another break of serve. Wong leads and by Wong three games moves three. ahead. 3 2. First set. No one's held serve from this end. You know, I do get the sense that both are trying to adjust. I mean, and we've talked about the weather, and yeah. I do think that's made a difference for both of them. I mean, it's a lot hotter than it was when they played on Wednesday. And you can, you can just get a sense that they can feel that the ball is flying out off their racket a little bit. So I feel like they're trying to find that range, both of them. Yeah, I'm finding it uh, interesting that Keys is trying to use a kick serve as a first serve a lot of the time. And I'm not so sure. I think she needs to trust her first serve and just go for it a little more and try and... Yeah, typically, when she's in full flight, she is the player that would be making more first serves and winning on average probably two free points yeah. in the game when that serve. She's got one of the best serves in the game. Oh, some of the 
fashionistas would be loving this. <laughs> How's wow. that backpack? <laughs> oh, the backpack just complements <laughs> the shirts. I love it. How cool. Time. Two for the price of one. Love 50. It's a brilliant return. It really is. It's yeah. I, I, mean, I think I feel like Wong was trying to get a little bit more slice. I mean, that ended up being right into the strike zone of Keys. Gee, look at yeah. that. When she's moving forward, it's so much better the forehand. Got more coming through the shot. Have a look at the, the, the feet. See, gets more on that left foot, rotates through the back hip, really drives the racket through the shot. That's when she is at her absolute best. That's great control on that backhand, on that low ball. That can sometimes be 15, tricky, 13. but you can see Wong run around, making sure she hit that backhand, use the left hand well there to get that ball cross court. Really struggling to control the ball here at times. Keys. Have a look at the unforced error rate wow. up at 18 already. No doubt, quite a few winners as well. Oh. Good composure there from Keys. Juice. Good movement along the baseline from Wong, just making Keys hit one more shot. It's a pretty good forehand down the line there. Not much height over the net, but Keys anticipating that nicely. It's her eighth winner. Just so much power when Keys has time. Advantage, Keys. Yeah, I think it's smart too to keep penetrating that ball into the long forehand side. I mean, she's very sound on that side, but once she gets a little bit behind, then she starts rolling that up and it just gives Keys another opportunity to be aggressive. Oh. So close to that, you can see Keys just saying she needs to get further away from that ball. That one just jammed into her body.
advantage. Wong. That's great length on that forehand from Wong. Doesn't get any better, does it? Such a good quality point from both players. Jeez. In the middle of that rally, I started thinking, okay, now they're starting, both starting to become a little bit more comfortable swinging out, starting to find that range. That whole point was just such a good quality point. Good balance from Keys. Loads the back leg and goes through that one nicely. Are you surprised Keys has never Advantage. been higher well, than seven in the world? Um, I mean, I definitely think she has the game to win a slam, for, first of all. I mean, she's been to the finals, as we know, of the U.S. Open. Um, I, mean, I mean, I'm not surprised she got into the ten, top ten. I do think she can get into the top five, for sure. That was great. I just think for someone who spent six years inside the top ten... Or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. uh, get to seven. It's, it's why isn't she contending more often for Grand Slams, in your opinion? Well, I think she's starting to take the the right approach, and I'll expand on that in after this point. She's always had the type of game that Advantage. for sure well. can beat anybody. But she she just recently came out and said herself that was she was putting so much pressure on herself and she was way too concerned about results and ranking points in particular. So anytime she had a good result, she was already thinking about how many points she had to defend. And if you start thinking about that week in and week out, I mean that just can stress you out and make you make you not play as well as you can. Wide. Yeah. Long, one. just a little too solid at the moment. Takes a 4-2 lead. And I think what we're seeing to today two. is what, what I question. I'm, this is all game plan A, but where's game plan B and C when that yeah. is not working? And I think that may have just... That's hurt her throughout her career at times. For someone who is such a prodigious ball striker and full flight, at, almost unplayable. But when things are not working, I just wonder what game plan B and C is for Madison Keys. Why well, I think it's funny because she used to a few years ago work with uh, Lindsay Davenport, and Davenport consistently was trying to get her to get more rotation on her ground strokes in general, because she does hit with such power and speed and can get too flat sometimes. She just gets so excited because she knows she can bring that power. So Lindsay was constantly trying her to just get a little bit more safety on her, off the ground. And I, I think she knows that she needs Petina. to incorporate that into her game, but I think she's so, her natural instinct is to get aggressive. And I think sometimes it's so hard to pull that back. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's one of those players because her skill level is so high. She, she must have a lot of options when the ball, oh. when say a ball comes to her mid court. Or for, right. Not every player, every player would go, well, this is my best shot, but she has so many right. options. But making the right decision at times is... I like that. Nice little slice yeah. just to change up. Even the use of that once every couple of games, I would like to see a little yeah. more for Madison Keys. I think she's trying because just in a few interviews I've heard her when she's spoken, she's like, I know I need to have a plan B. I know it's not the end of the world if I lose the first set. power from Wong. Faulty, good thing. So I feel like Keys in particular is starting to be more open about that and I think 
maturing. When you are open, there's a level of acceptance, right? And then you can actually ex improve from that point. Just a little bit Game too piece. big for Wong. New balls, please. He's holding serve. Staying Wong in touch, but it's Wong with a break four leading games four games to three. Time. Well, Madison Keys just down a break. New balls in play now. Wong Chong from Tianjin to serve. Tough year for a lot of the Chinese players. They, they cut their season short after the, the clay court swing and had to do some preparing for the Olympics. They were in a bubble there for four months Let's and really missed a chunk of the season from the end of the clay court swing really until now until the, a lot of them didn't even couldn't leave and play the back end of the season because oh. of when you enter back into China it was three weeks of a hard quarantine in a hotel so hence you see some of these Chinese players rankings have dropped Yeah, I mean, one Chong in particular didn't play the whole year from February 2020 to January of last year. So that's pretty much almost a full year that she wasn't able to compete and play. And as we know, now working with your compatriot, Pat Cash. Oh, isn't that brilliant? Yeah. They actually did their training. There are well, preparations, says Pat Cash with his beloved Hawthorne <laughs> AFL football cap on. He loves the Hawks, but they they did their training camp in Los Angeles in December. Well, they also did a lot of communicating over Zoom when, when they weren't able to train together actually in person, and Pat Cash said he would send her a lot of videos and just give her some advice over Zoom. Oh, that's great. Just great hands, Madison yeah. Keys. Like, not balanced at all. Didn't have time to. The quality of shot was awesome from Wong. And have a look at the hands here. Just gets it through the ball beautifully. Great control. Good use of the left hand on the double hand up. Madison Keys needs to start winning these really important points, the big points. She's had quite a few break points. That hasn't converted yet. Now these are called pressure points in the game, the 15-30, the 30-all and the 30-40 points. And at the moment, Wong is coming out on top. Wong just one game away from this one first set. 5-3 five, five, lead.
a little that harder serve that you were talking about that you feel like she needs to incorporate some more. I think she has been using the kick serve more often today because it has been bouncing pretty high out here Let's this afternoon with the heat. But I feel like she can mix it up more. Just got a, quite an extreme grip on the forehand. Madison Keys. Not quite getting underneath it. Ball. Getting late on that one a lot when 15, Wong 15. has been able to hit that hard through the court. Keys has been not able to get that racket head through the ball quickly enough on that forehand sometimes. But that's just a, a zero percentage shot she, she's tried that's to make. That's true too. That's true too. I mean, that's important. I don't care who you are. I mean, you've just. But when she's on, that's the, she makes that all the time. That's but right. If you're, I agree, if you're maybe not feeling 100% confident on that shot in particular, go for a little bit more margin, more high percentage shot. She's made a few errors like that already in this first set. Well done, holding on here. Important point. 40, right there for Madison Keys. Would love one more chance to break Wong's serve. Patience is rewarded here for Madison Keys. That was a tough hold, but Wong will have a chance to close out this first set. She leads 5-4. And Jill, for me, that was probably one of the best points yep. Madison's played in this, in this match. Was was pushed deep in the court. She shaped it a fraction more, especially off the forehand and even reverted to a chip forehand on end range, just showing us the skills that she possesses. So just trying to think her way through this and get back into this first set before it's too late. I think just overall better choices, better shot selections when she was off balance, when she, you know, she recognized she wasn't quite in position, so didn't try and overplay those last few forehands, got more spin. So I just thought it was much better shot selection from her in that game. Time. Chong serving for the first set. Oh. It's a freebie, really, when you're trying to close out a set. You'll take that opening point all day long. Just for me, Wong's been very disciplined in this match. Hasn't tried to overplay. Been very, very 
solid and consistent. Ball. Yeah, Wong's been just a little bit more patient overall in these in these big moments, especially on the longer rallies. He's just wanting to finish the point quickly when it goes really past five or six shots. In that five to eight shot rally band, she's definitely coming out on top Wong. She's won 14 of those compared to nine for Madison Keys. Oh. Such great timing. That's when we thought that this set might be getting away from Madison Keys at 30 love. Just gives herself a chance here and just have a look. She just holds it and then just fires that racket head through down the line. Yeah, smart serve. Into the body. 14, not allowing Keys any space whatsoever, and that brings up a set point for Wong. Oh. Wide. Again. And a good set of tennis. First set, Wong. From Wong Chong. By six games to four. That's the opening set in 48 minutes, six games to four. And Madison Keys has got a real fight on her hands here on show court three. Well, as you can see, it's a stunning day here and not a cloud in the sky. Good serving numbers in terms of first serve percentage, but for me, Jill, I thought Keyes wasn't aggressive enough with that first serve. She was just trying to use it as a kick serve, and I guess the big number there that stands out is the unforced, unforced errors. errors. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think I agree with you on the serve, first of all. I think Keyes can mix it up a bit. She's resorting to that kick serve over and over, and, and Wong's getting used to that pace now that she has opportunities on that. Unforced errors, obviously, Madison has more winners, too, because she's trying to be aggressive, but the unforced errors have really hurt her. Yeah, there's a look at the work rate and the, the hitting load. Pretty similar in most of those, but just the high intensity changes. That's where... Slight yeah, difference. Yep, yeah. you've got to run five metres for that to register. So she's working relatively hard out there, Madison Keys, and not quite being rewarded on the scoreboard because they've won the identical amount of points, 39 points collectively, but hasn't won the pressure points. And right there is an example of just... Not Time. quite giving her, her, herself enough room and space on that forehand. When she has great space on that yeah, forehand, that's, exactly right. that's when it's, it, it's at its absolute best. Gotta love those sunglasses, oh, those Jill. Are cool. I like the hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Second sets. Keys to serve. Oh. Oh. 
Love 50. Fifteen. Better serving here in this first game. 40, that 50. one 172 kilometres. That's the sort of pace I would like to see her be aiming for as a minimum on a first serve. That's the one she's been struggling 40, with. It's the, it's the footwork. I yeah, think. falling backwards. I mean, I, I feel like she feels like she's in position, then all of a sudden it's too late to realize that she's not quite away from the, what, yeah. the ball. And that's where you need to just start exaggerating your footwork, maybe start moving too much and then get in better position. That's just a good deep return Juice. from Wong that came back so quickly. You can see Madison was still recovering from the serve. We were talking about that out wide serve from Keys in the beginning. It was, it's been so such an effective play. Now, Wong just inching over, trying to expect that out wide serve now. Oh. Gets the opening break as well, so a real bit of momentum First here game, for Wong. Set. A set and one love. It was a pretty risky return as well because Wong really wanted a forehand on that and she moved around so fast and was so far outside the court and realized she had to get a lot of depth and she was able to hit that return really well. But Madison just... When she has that open court, she's just trying to guide it a little bit too much. She just looks slightly hesitant off the ground occasionally when she's off balance. Yeah, conditions are not conducive to sort of just use your hands here. You've got to be really set with the footwork. You've got to be in position. Otherwise, the ball just is flying off the racket here on, the, on a warm day here at Melbourne Park. I think it's tough too when, when the ball flies a little bit more. Your first in instinct is to try and control the ball and that's the last thing you want to do because the more you try and control, the worse you lose actually control of the ball. 18 oh, it in. That was maybe why. Yeah, we might just see that if that was a close call or what. That must have just got the outside. And it does, yes. needs to be careful here. She cannot give her 13, opponent 50. Wong too big a lead because Wong very capable of pulling off an upset. We've seen that before at Grand Slam level. Oh, 
That's a great volley. Good Hold gets defense. from Wong on the baseline. I love that Madison was looking to move forward to that net. So Wong in trouble right away and didn't hesitate. Immediately went forward, took that ball nice. Didn't let that drop. Game one. Just a little bit too streaky. Wong leads yeah. I mean, by Wong, two games to Wong's the one that's been definitely more solid, not giving a lot of free points away. Yeah, it's the unforced error rate. Madison Keys, 30 unforced errors compared to 11. Three times almost. I think any time she's had Love a bit 50. of momentum, Madison, she, she just undoes all her great work by an unforced error. It just takes that pressure off Wong and he hasn't been able to build any sustained pressure whatsoever out here. Oh. Great pick up here. This is a great little pick up here, I thought, from Keys. If she goes down Love 30 the on this game, it's, it's almost quiet during the point. Thank you. It's troubling times here for Keys. Well, I think he's needed that point. That was a good ro long rally, one of the few longer rallies that she's won. And good change up here, great disguise. Tough shot to time when you're that far back behind the baseline, but she t did it really nicely, took Wong by surprise. Great game Thank here you. from Keys. Gets a hold, but Long it's Wong with a set and a break lead here on show court three. Well, just an hour's play. Just nearing 3 p.m. local time here in Melbourne, and that was a, a really important game. That love 15 point when she was down love 15. Came out on top needed to hold and I think just showed signs in that last game there that she's willing to play some longer rallies, be a little bit more patient. So uh, I must say that was a better game from Keys. I thought it was a good game, yeah. And especially after that long point and then finishing with the drop shot, I think after she was able to execute that and win that point, the next couple of points I actually thought she changed a bit and looked a little more confident. We'll see if that can carry over into into her return because she has been struggling on the return slightly but Time. i thought she looked a little better in those last few points
Good look there of show court three. One of the stadium courts here, one of the many stadium courts, in fact, here at Melbourne Park. And as you can see, not a cloud in the sky. It's a really beautiful, sunny, hot day here at Melbourne Park. Even though she missed that one, I still felt like that she was committed to hitting that shot. Still slightly flat on that forehand going over the higher part of the net. But looked a little bit more confident striking through that one. Definitely took much better time on that, Keys, to hit that forehand. And also just picked her shot, didn't try and hit that ball too hard. See the better rotation on that, better spin, and it's very solid at the net, moved toward that volley. Yeah, it's a good finish, isn't it? And I like that. That just is another string to her bow in terms of what Let's she has. So a chance here at 15.30 for Madison Keys. chance 1540 15, just knuckled down these last couple of games she looks better to me i think he's with the the footwork looks a little bit more in position just getting those couple extra steps Back in town. Keys. Brilliant ball striking from Madison Keys here. Two games all. Gets the break back and two games all. Second set. This looks like she's finally started to settle in here, Jill. And yeah, and th I think on the beginning we both mentioned, you know, when she was off balance and falling backwards, she was hitting it too flat. And now she's just going for much more safe shot. She's getting more spin on that ball. Oh. And just choosing better shots, not overplaying as she was in the beginning of the match. Good scrambling there from Wong on the baseline. 15 -0. Got a little bit out of position and just lofted that ball. Ended up like landing right on the baseline. Reset the point.
Yeah, great serve out wide. This one was what was working so magnificently in Adelaide in her title there last week. And great to see her finding it now in this match. Real shift in momentum here at yeah. six at a set and two love. Looking all one way traffic for Wong and now Keys really has fought hard in this last ten minutes to give herself every opportunity to move ahead in this second set. Oh, nice game. Finishes it off with an ace. Madison Keys is in front in this second set. 3-2. Wong with the first six games to four. So as we take a look at the winner profile, 23 winners, 10 of those on the forehand, eight on the backhand, and the rest of those are on serve. And so far, she's just around, just around the one kilometre mark, six sprints, and those high intensity Fine. changes. Gee, that's getting up there, 26. So working hard here at the moment, Madison Keys. There's a great shot there of Rod Laver Arena. That's right next door here. And Jill, a bit of pressure now on Wong for the first time in, the, in this match. Just a, three consecutive games for Keys and with a bit of momentum. Let's see what Wong can produce. Wong was feeling pretty comfortable being up to love and then all of a sudden Keys did lift her level so just quite hasn't adjusted to the fact that Keys is being a little bit more consistent now not making loose errors as much as she was in that first set. You mentioned Wong, one of the quickest players on the on the tour. She's so fast around the court, so she's got to rely on that movement, got to trust that movement because Keys is more consistency and the pace that she's bringing. She's moving Wong around the court a little bit more, so Wong's going to have to de defend that pace consistently. That's well, too big. Yeah. Gee, it's been no a real turnaround here. Keys has really tightened up her game and has been rock solid. Gives herself three break points. Yeah, that's the one Wong likes, that high forehand. She can take that anywhere, inside out or cross court. That She's very comfortable on that shot. And I think Madison was trying to get more depth on that, but that lands anywhere short in the court. Wong is very comfortable.
gets it. Game Four games in a row here Newball for the American Keys. Madison Keys. Keys leads by four games to two. I really like that shot actually because I was expecting Madison to hit flatten that one out. And I think she kept moving, moving, getting position, got the spacing that she needed, but I like that she went for more of a spinnier shot, more rotation. Yeah, she's been rewarded just for, for playing controlled aggression. Yeah. There's a lot more now, shape. More so yeah. now than yeah. the beginning, yeah. A lot more shape on her shot. Been more patient when she's pushed in range. She's been disciplined. Getting the ball back in play. And has been rewarded on the scoreboard. 4-2 lead. 15 love. Well, now the challenge is for Wong. Let's see what the response is here for for Wong, who was in such a, a great position for the majority of this match. How does she counteract this Madison Keys form? Oh. way too far out to the right. Needs to get that back at least straight above the head at 12 o'clock or even 11 o'clock when you're hitting a kick serve. That's her fifth double fault. Yeah, when she's, those double faults are coming where she just isn't able to reach up to the ball, letting that ball toss drop. We'll break back points here 40. for Wong. That was a great move to yeah. come into the net. I mean, I don't necessarily think she meant to go that short in the court, but as soon as she saw Keyes in trouble, reaching for that ball was a smart move to take that next one out of the air. Ball. Wait, please. That's too powerful. Game one. A nice response right here from Wong. Keys, Keys, Keys still in front though, 4-3 in three. the second. Uh, 29 degrees and it is warm here at Melbourne Park. Some of those kids just trying to stay cool under the shade. And gee, that's how I feel at the moment, Jill. Me too. <laughs> that, looks, that looks like that would be comfortable. <laughs> It's hot underfoot here on court three. Wong serving. Back on serve now. 4-3 keys leads. Better point yeah. again. Love 50. A good point from both. I mean, it was interesting because at that point, both of them just pretty comfortable going in the middle of the court, both just testing each other, seeing who's going to take that risk a little bit more. But Keys at that last ball, just such good depth. Great quality from both.
love 30. Wow, that's a great yeah. shot. Needed it. Down love 30. 15-30. That was a good return, too, because it was a good body serve. Keys did a good job of getting out of the way of that and thought hit a pretty good return, but again, it was the speed of Wong able to get over to that ball quickly to produce a great shot down the line. 30. from Keyes. 30-40. We started with the return. I mean, Wong did a good job of being able to pick that ball up right on the baseline. And good approach here. Covered the right spot, covering that down the line. Perfect placement on the volley. Yep, well done, Madison Keys. Game Keys. Just one game away from leveling this at one set all. Keys, five five three lead. Five games to three. That's just beaten for power here. Yeah. 15 love. Yeah, she wasn't that far away from that ball, and she guessed right as well. It just, the fact that it, it had pace and Keys didn't wait on the ball, took it early. I felt like Wong was still trying to get in position to cover that line. Been a great mental effort here for Madison Keys when she was down a set and a break. There was no panic. Been a really mature performance to be able to turn this around and now sits with three set points. Gets it. Well done, Madison yeah. Keys. That's and a nice fight set back. Keys. Levels at a one set all. One set all. be happy with that effort. Madison Keys just going straight to the fridge. Hot, hot conditions out here. So trying to stay hydrated. Let's just take a look at set two summary, Jill. It was it was a good fight back, wasn't it, from it, Madison yeah. Keys? Yeah, I mean, I think that was the biggest key, was that mental, yeah, and the unforced errors were really 
much further down than the first set. She really cut back on that and had much more unforced stairs than winners. And now that has flip-flopped one more winner to the unforced stairs. So that's been a huge turnaround for Keys. But it's amazing. And then just looking at the, the hitting load and the intensity changes, pretty similar, I think, between the two players. Wong, you can see, just slightly elevated and having to work just a little bit harder than Keys in that second set. Yep. That, yeah, those high intensity changes that they they're up there for for Wong because Madison Key started to make a lot more balls. She was more consistent, right. and the unforced error rate dropped. So she had to do a fair bit of running in that set there, Q Wong. Let's just see how that affects her in this third set because it is warm. And I just noticed towards the end of that second set, maybe just uh, feeling it a little bit physically because Wong has not played a lot of tennis in the last 12 months. Right. Lost in qualies last week to Storm Sanders in Adelaide. Time. And while she's won a couple of matches here, it's uh, it's it's not easy to back up match match after match when you haven't played a lot over the past 12 months. All right, win predictor, 69% for keys. That was final sets. So that's about right. I'm pretty happy with win predictor on that one. <laughs> yeah, I would take the slight edge. I mean, she has the momentum now, so yeah. it's kind of natural to feel like you. Keys is has been in control in those last few games. Yeah, this is this is important, isn't it, for for Wong? She's only won one out of the last seven games. Needs to strike early. Yeah, I think it's important for her to get those first serves, and she her percentage winning percentage off the first serve and second serve was much higher in the first set than it was the second set. And so she needs to be smart about the accuracy of her serve. The body serve was working well for her in the beginning. There's that body serve. I Fifteen. think she can utilize yeah. that a little bit more. I think both players could use it more, that yeah. the body serve. I think Keyes has tried to use her slider out wide on the first court and hasn't quite hit her targets as well as she would have liked. And I think if you're missing a few first serves, why not? Oh try and build pressure and make a few more and go into the body. That's a good job from Keys. There are a couple shots in that point where I felt like she was going to go really big and she just opted to get more spin, more safety. That was good choices from Keys. Got the unforced error. Madison Keys has got a positive record when it gets to that third set. She's won 58 and lost 55 in her career. And not quite as good for Wong. Only won 31 and lost 42 final sets. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I thought excellent movement here from Keys, but this was so tough. Defending right there, and again, gets into position, pulls the trigger, and that's good enough. Oh. I love the space here. Yeah. Good use of the footwork. Almost a premeditated return here. Yeah, she started moving so early, looking for that forehand. Still actually could have been a little bit further to her left, but was able to still accelerate through with the racket head because got enough space.
Good defense from Wong at the net. Just getting enough racket onto this. Advantage, Wong. I thought here she was in trouble. Yeah, me too. Just guesses the right way. Lunge volley. Cashy would have lo loved it. <laughs> he could certainly lunge volley better than nearly anyone. Oh. Such a good return again. This is a safe return. Jeez. You're going over the low part of the net. She's hitting into a pretty big target of the court. She doesn't even have to bring that sideline into play. So starting to have success with this off forehand return. Oh. inside the baseline Keys. on that one. No hesitation from Keys on that return. That one right in the strike zone. It's a break point chance now for Keys. That's long. Well Thank done, you. Madison Keys continues with this momentum game, and gets the first set. break of the third set and leads one game to love. It's just amazing. I mean, credit to, to Madison being down a set and to love. And I just feel like it's amazing that one point made such a big difference. There was one long point through in the drop shot. And I think the fact that she was able to just get through that tough point, you could see her demeanor change, the confidence change. All of a sudden, in the very next point, she started striking the ball with a little bit more commitment. And just to have that mentality to, you know, feel uncomfortable and be able to just keep plugging away and turn that, turn the match around. Yeah, I, still I, has a long way to go, but got the early break. Look, I, I think this is a match historically that Madison Keys may have already lost. If you look at her past couple of seasons. Where she would have panicked a little bit and the match just would have got away, but she sh hasn't panicked at all in this one. And the fact that she came back to win that second is, is what you're referring to, yeah, right? I yeah, I reckon that's, that's been a, a wonderful turnaround from Keys. Obviously in form and confident after taking the title in Adelaide. And the ball getting up 15. so high. Not able to control here for Wong. Just walking nice and slow. She's uh, shown a couple of signs of maybe just affected by the heat. Just catching Keys off guard, going behind her on that approach.
Yep, smart. Goes back in behind and didn't overplay it. Do you like it, the feeling this is a big game? That's it. <laughs> I know. Just to decide the outcome of this match here. With the break in hand, you'd be pretty keen here, Madison Keys, to find a way to hold. Continue with this scoreboard pressure. I also feel like Keith is getting a little bit lower with her legs. I mean, I was defense. just watching throughout that point, her set up for the shot, and that just helps you move a little bit more efficiently as well and, and quicker is when you can get those legs a little lower. I think that's improved as the match has progressed. Wow. Just anticipated yes. this. Well read from Wong. Yeah. Went back there, <laughs> didn't, didn't panic Advantage. there. Maddie, after Peace. having a winner hit against her from that forehand side continues to go back. Really, that is the weaker side, I think. Great depth from Long on the baseline Advantage. on that backhand. Wong. Just a little scissor kick on that backhand mm -hmm. too, just to make sure she got it more where she wanted it in the strike zone. There, coach of oh. Wong. Oh. Must be nice having a Jeez. Wimbledon champion as your coach. Must give you a fair bit of confidence and self belief. I think one of the things Pat Cash was pretty impressed with Wong about was, you know, we talked about how he sent her videos when they couldn't yep. train together and oh, Ooh, that was close. Um, and I think one of the things that impressed him most about Wong was how quickly she took that advice and she would send videos back and anything he told her to do, he felt like she picked it up faster than any player he's ever seen or worked with. What's that shot there? Well, We're maybe just not quite getting low enough on the backhand. Here for Keys, ball's coming through quick. It's scooting through the court. So break point number two here for Wong to level this third set at one all. Disappointment for Key. She'll be upset that she's not been able to consolidate the break. Pat Cash urging... His player on here, one game all, third set. See both players taking their time in the shade. In the shade, yeah. 
we've talked about how hot it is, but even hotter on, on the court. I oh, think yeah. it raises the temperature of these cement courts just two or three degrees, maybe even more. Oh, it just yeah. comes off. They can feel it coming off the court. Oh. Oh. Love fifty. Well, she hit two or three in a row with that nice bid, and you can tell she just got a little bit anxious to want to flatten that one out, hit a little bit harder. She has been hitting that one quite well all day today, backhand down the line, but that one she was a little further back. He called it. 15, <laughs> this backhand down the line has been superb. She was in better position on this one. That one, she moved forward to the ball. Just nice, quick feet. The one before, I just felt like she was two or three feet further back. Thank you. I love this off backhand return. It's it's not a return that is used a lot in our game, but very effective. Yeah, because it's so easier. It's so much easier on that return to come across your body to yep. go down the line. The inside out's not as easy to hit. So that's a you don't really anticipate one that one as well. You could see oh. Wong just a little bit behind in her feet on that shot. Wide, so that is a break for Madison Keys again Keys in this third set. Two, games to one. two one Keys, third set. Stunning day here in Melbourne. Weather's just starting to heat up but right about now and predicted to stay warm for the next four or five days here really and throughout 
the end of the tournament. So let's just see how the players handle it. Let's see how Madison Keys goes here. Up a break in the third set. Ooh, right on the line. Good accuracy from Keys on that backhand. Got a little, just got a little ahead of herself. Miss hit that slightly on the backhand. Ball. So good. She just loves that target. Long and she's so quick. I mean, she was all the way on the other side of the court and just got so covered so much ground, anticipated this short ball well. Yeah, just indicating that needs to just get that arm moving a little quicker on that serve. So Madison Key's down a couple of break points on her own serve now. It's long, so four consecutive Game breaks one. to start this third set. Two games all. A little shaky game from both players on their serve. Long on the previous game, a couple of double faults and keys there. A couple of unforced errors, double fault. So both players just feeling it a little bit, stage of the third set. good at that, being able to pick up those deep shots. Does a good job of, after her serve, not backing off of that baseline, using her hands just to flick that pace into the open court. Here it is again, yeah, just great control, balance. Can you tip a winner at this stage, Jill? No. No? <laughs> Are you feeling it shifting in one direction? Well, I thought Keys had the momentum after winning that second set. Been I up a break too, twice. Yeah. It's at that stage, I, d I thought so as well. Let's first serve. Oh. Not too much depth and height on that drop shot. Plenty of time for Wong to get up to that. I do feel that the match is more on Keyes' racket, for yep. sure. I mean, she's been the more aggressive player, so it's really been about 
if she can execute these shots when she does get aggressive. Yeah, that's a big miss. I haven't seen one of those so far for Madison Keys in this one. 45 unforced errors. Great game from Wong. And she moves Wong in front in this third games set. Three games to two. She's going for a fresh restring. No doubt the players that just have their racket strung a little tighter on a day like today when the heat is in, just for control. The ball's no doubt flying around here. Well, it's been an entertaining match here on show court three. Lots of ebbs and flows. We've seen Madison Keys fight back hard in that second set. It was all Wong Chong winning in the first and upper break in the second. So this match really is anyone's here at 3 2 in the third. That is such a great shot, it's isn't it? It's not easy. We know that. Changing direction of a shot. You're going over the high part of the net. And you have to time it to yeah. perfection. Otherwise, it, it, it will go wide. She gets that good shoulder turn and that extra shoulder turn that makes it difficult to read. That's a great shot. Excellent control. and. That's so, when she would normally flatten out quite a bit. So I like that shot that she went for, that little heavier, deeper ball. But good footwork, just to give enough time and space. It's amazing how many, how often in this match they've held, the players have held serve from the end that Madison Keys is at and that on the the flip side, how often they've lost serve down the other mm. end where Wong is returning. It's not very windy today normally. You see that on windy no. days, but it's pretty still. Let's first serve. Best games of the match for Madison Keys. Three all. Three games. Third set, new balls. Interested to see what yeah, might be another change of racket here for for Wong. No change of racket for Madison Keys, which is must be feeling pretty happy with her racket and how it's playing at the moment. Most players do change when there is new balls in play. Fifty. 
15 love. And again, it's the backhand down the line that is really starting to pay dividends. 13 winners for Madison Keys, and that's probably been the one shot that's kept her in yeah, this match. Yeah, definitely. Oh. The fact that she's hitting that ball so well down the line, I mean, that puts extra pressure on the opponent because you know how well she can hit the forehand. So most of the time you're trying to stay away from that forehand side, but Madison really has gotten a lot better technically on that backhand. And tough times there for Kashi. Yes. I think it's hard, isn't it, when you're a coach, you've been a, a, a player and then 13. you've lived it and then you, you end up coaching and it's not easy to sit there and... Well, you have that experience too. Yeah, it's, it's tough That's going, especially hard. a three all in the third, a third <laughs> round of a slam. This is a big opportunity for both players right here, right now. Oh. right down the center of the court, 30, 40. especially 30 all, three all, to have that safety, not try and go for too much, good play. long yes. I think let's have a look at the call here just a fraction out four millimeters they're saying that's great serve that body serve. Well. perfect timing for that she's gotten a couple free points on that where Keys has gotten a little bit jammed. Smart choice. Oh. Juice. That's just Wong's fourth double fault of the match. Yeah, smart serve, took a little bit off and Advantage. made that first serve, importantly. Just that first serve, it's been a, a battle for Wong, only at 43% in this last set. But when she gets it in, she's winning 85% of them. So that could be the key. That's way long. So great hey, effort Wong. here from Wong Chong. Moves ahead. 4-3, final set. Three.
time. So really getting down to the business end of this third set. Third round action here at the Australian Open. And Madison Keys, who's been in great form, took the title last week in Adelaide up against the big hitting, talented Wong Chong. Wong leading 4-3, third set. Yes, great timing of this backhand and excellent setup with the footwork. Such a prolific ball striker. Madison Keys can hit winners from absolutely anywhere. Oh. and Madison just getting a little bit late on that backhand. Yeah, I think where Keys does her best is when she's trying not to hit a winner, if that makes sense. Yeah. She's just trying to stay committed to her shot, not trying to over hit that ball because she's got enough natural pace. Ooh, that's close. Keys thinking that that might have been long, but wants to see a replay of it. Yep, comes off the back of the line. Yeah. I just feel Keys has not quite landed 30. enough first serves in yeah. this match. The set, she's at 52% and the match 59%. So if she can get above 60 to, I think 65% first serves in, she'll get so many more free points. Just like that. Yeah. So if she can just... Just a a few more first serves in this back end of this set, that might be the difference. Yeah, well done. Good effort here from Keys to get out of a bit of trouble. And this match is on a knife's edge for all. Final set, two hours of play. In really, really stifling conditions here at Melbourne Park. Let's just see how aggressive Madison Keys plays this return game. Yep, set up by an excellent return. I controlled that short ball well. I like that she, when she goes behind Wong right away on the next shot, that's been very effective for her, not trying to get it past Wong, who moves so well side to side along the baseline. It's good placement on the serve. Yeah, just 30, 50. such great success when she lands that first serve, particularly in this set, above 80%, 82%. And again, a really well-placed first serve. Draws the error. So a pretty comfortable service Wong. game from Wong. Just Wong one game away, but we're on serve. 5-4, final set. 
as we've seen, Wong just changing rackets. He's been doing this serving with one racket and returning with the other. Fascinating. I didn't even notice that. She's been doing that every changeover. Mm. Mm. It's fascinating. <laughs> I mean, as you mentioned earlier, most of them change when you get new balls just to get that tighter, tightly, more tightly strung racket just to control the ball a little bit better. Yeah, I think this end that she will come out to return, that's the end that the players have typically struggled with and you know, might, might just feel as if she's hitting into the wind. I think they're hitting, she'll be hitting into the wind from the end she's going to. So maybe just a fraction looser just to give herself a bit of easier or free power yeah it is trying to get a little bit breezy yeah i can see i can, I can see, see the, the flags coming down the court out and around at the back of our studio so let's just see what madison keys can produce can she stay in this match down five four third set Good start. Good pace, yeah. Yeah, backing, could... backing herself, still going Thanks for the ball, people. nice and aggressive. Yeah, you could say a long just trying to be consistent in that point. Just want to make Keys play a lot of shots. That was very good from Keys. Good penetration through that ball. Oh. Great movement. That's that movement we were talking about earlier where she just needed that spacing and got so far into the doubles alley. It has to be a winner though from there. Yep. If you don't get it right, you're you're leaving so much court open. So well well struck winner. Just good rallying. Just going after it. Yeah, I gotta say, yeah. I gotta say, you you've got to acknowledge this. Excellent play from Key. She's she's committed to going for it when she's serving to stay in the match, and this has been an excellent game. Ah, classy game from game. Madison Keys levels this match at five games all final five set. Games all. Talk about playing the pressure mo moments well. That was an incredible game. Five four down. Yeah, pressure swings back onto Wong Chong to stay on serve in this final set. Return. No 15. Well, this match is absolutely anyone's. Keys at 60%. Well, favoured to win this. Wong at 40%. Oh, I would 
think it's probably 50-50 about now. Yeah, I would think so too. Well, it couldn't be any closer in Predictor. Just giving the favour to probably the more experienced and higher credentialed player, Madison Keys. But this is absolutely anyone's fourth round berth up for grabs here at the Australian oh. Open. Good serve, really jumping off the 15, court. 15. Catching Madison Keys, looking for a backhand. Smart on the second serve too, to be able to swing that one out wide. Keys looking to try and run around to get a forehand. Keys thought she had it 14, for a moment. 15. Even gave a little fist pump there, but just missing wide. Yep, excellent serving. Game one. Game one. Stays in front, 6-5. Final set. Just the serving from these last couple of games from both these young ladies has been superb. Ability to find a first serve when it's really mattered has been so impressive. winning percentage for Wong. When she gets that first serve in, in this set, she's winning 86% of those first serves. So only lost three points on first serve in this final set. Yeah, that's unbelievable. And Madison right now, just 56% winning on that first serve. But Key's a little higher on the second serve percentage, 157% and Wong only 30% in this set. Yeah, the only thing I haven't, if I was coaching Madison Keys is I think she should go out after that serve a little more. She's used the kick serve as a first serve to start the rally for me up. She's got one of the best serves in the business, her first serve. I'd like to say, see her stay committed to that. Keep going out after that first serve. Excellent start. And again, that one just 149 kilometers an hour. So that's not her biggest serve, and I think she feels like Wong likes the pace, though. I think yeah. I mean that's my guess is that's why she's mixing up that kick serve because she's getting some short replies when she's throwing that kick in. 143, that one there. So big difference in up around 185, which is would be her traditional first serve. The fastest so far, 192. It's great we ball striking. Yeah, but, but it, it, it's such <laughs> it's great ball striking at this stage of the game, yeah. serving to stay in the match. She executed so well in the last service game and she's started off in similar fashion. Hmm. Well, one point away here from levelling this at six all. Oh. 
good aggression there from Hold Wong in that two. point. He's getting a little bit behind, so tried to change it up by throwing in that slice, but just landed slightly short. Oh. Excellent serving. Six all. Six games all. Tie break. Okay, so this is a, a match tie break. Tie Still feel like it's 50 50. The match. <laughs> I'm going to tip Madison Keys now. Okay. I'm going for Madison. Yeah, I'm feeling that too. I just think I'm, the only reason I would say that is because of the fact that she's been the form player and has won a couple of tight matches when she won that title in Adelaide. I think that would come into account here the self belief. So a 10-point tie break to decide who moves into the fourth round here at the Australian Open. Oh. Yep. I also feel like, I mean, I agree with you on tipping zero. Madison slightly just because Eight. in the last couple games, how much she's stepped up and going for it when she's been behind serving at 4 5 and 5 6. She's just getting a little bit more aggressive, really staying committed. So, got the first mini break here, Madison Keys. Lead here to Love with a serve Two, to come. Let's first serve. Excellent. That's great end range defense from yep. Keys. Just Three desperate to get zero. out there and not make an unforced Keys. error to get that one extra ball back, and she is rewarded. Yeah, because you know her natural instinct is to want to run over there and try and go for a winner, and I thought that was just a great choice, just getting that slice back into the court, defending very well. Well, it's been one of her better plays in this match, that off forehand return. And it comes at the perfect moment. Four love lead for Madison Keys. Flawless in this tie break. Five love. Five zero. Peace. That really has started so strong. Great coverage there from Wong to get that volley, but good job from Madison just staying so calm because you know she could see Wong rushing back to cover that court. Good focus. Look at that jump off the court. That was her best, six, well, use of a serve, the second Please. serve, kick serve on that ad court all match. That really jumped up high and players change end. Six love and it's it's not first to seven, it's first to ten, just a reminder.
Well, I really think those last couple games that Keys has played where she stepped it up on her service games just to keep this, to push this third set to a tie break has helped her start this tie break so strong. It's just tremendous. 7-0. Well, you can't play a better tie break than this. Well, it was a good shot from Wong. Just unbelievable hands. Just flicked it at the last second. Incredible from Keys. I love the reaction. First real show of emotion from Madison in this match. have the perfect tiebreaker on our hands here. Eight, Eight love. Keys. And sometimes, I mean, with the way Keys has started this tiebreak, sometimes it's just so tough when your opponent starts so strong to really try and work your way back. You just, she's long just feeling on the run on the defense right from the start. Great volley and an excellent point from Wong to get on the board, but is it too late? I like her reaction after this too. I mean, she's down eight love, gets on the point. First point of the tie break. Good energy. Problems as Madison Keys racks up eight match points here. Nine, one. I love saying that. Keys. Eight match points. <laughs> I didn't know it was. <laughs> it's the first time you've ever said that, I'm sure. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> step there from Wong. Nine, two. I think if, if that Keys. shot actually was any flatter, I feel like Keys would have potentially passed on that one, but just got it up high out of the strike zone. So nice depth. Seven match points. Oh. To come back win seven, for two. Madison Keys. Five, two sets to one. Four, six, six, three, seven, six. And it was a stunning display of ball striking at the very end. Getting a tight three sets victory in the end. Four, six, six, three, seven, six. Just absolutely incredible from Madison Keys. And to me, that emotion afterward just showed so much of how much she had to battle through that and work her way through that match. I mean, Wong started the match really well, so strong, nice and consistent. It was that first set where Madison maybe had too many unforced errors. That was the difference. But since then, she battled back, found a way, started to find her rhythm. But you have to say that tie break was just absolutely exceptional. Yep. with how well she played that. Outstanding performance in the end there for Madison Keys. Through to the fourth round where it gets a little tougher 
as you would expect, she will be taking on Paula Bedosa, who's also been in form, winning the tournament in Sydney last week. She got through in three tight sets today. So, great performance from the American today. Favoured to win from the start, but I have to say, that was an excellent performance to get through.